Well, happy March Madnessing, everyone. It's the end of round one, round two-ish, if you want to call it that, these two rounds here. A lot of games played, a lot of upsets, crazy things happening. I've had a lot of people sending me brackets. I'm up to 352 entrants in my fake tournament here. We're not giving away anything I can't stock, except a good time and some Excel knowledge. And super, got a ton of entrants. I changed the point standings here from my 1, 2, 4, or like doubling all the way, 4, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, I think I had. Changed it to the Fibonacci sequence which you cannot see in here. Actually, I did not change this one. I'm going to change this one right now. Fibonacci sequence, let's go two, three, five, because you're just adding the two numbers before five and three add to eight. Eight and five add to 13. Eight and 13 add to 21. It's a pattern in nature. Look it up. It's pretty funny. It's pretty cool stuff it's called the Fibonacci sequence. So we did this, and now all I have to do is refresh my standings because I've already picked all the winners through round two. And voila, Linda and Russ is in the lead uh, with current points. And that, that's a kind of a suspect entry because that's actually the most recent entry. As you can see, it was the last one here. It's kind of funny. It's the last entry we got. So I would almost be a little concerned when I see that, that somebody sent me a pick, uh, a pick well after these rounds have been over and they have this many points. So we, we may put a little asterisk. We can highlight that here something we can do in the pivot table and they'll stay hidden. But let's see, uh, this is sorted by current points. Let's sort, sort by best possible by going to more sort options, descending best possible point score, and see if Lyndon Russ is still up there. They are, wow, 202. So we're well, just going to be a real quick video today. Uh, so somebody who's got 202 points is in the lead. If, if you are any of these people, good for you. I don't know who these people are into these brackets from all over the country that I sent out. What, this is what's fun to do now at this point, is you go and you check and you say, well, here's what my master bracket, here's what the actual results look like. You've got Louisville, Oregon, Louisville, Oregon, Michigan State, Duke. Are there any weird ones? Like, did anybody possibly have LaSalle this deep into this tournament? Probably not. Wichita State was a nine seed. Um, Arizona was a six. Ohio State's supposed to be there. Yeah, Gonzaga getting knocked out. That's huge. Did anybody have Wichita State? So let's let's do that. Let's go and let's look within the standing. Say, all right, who had Wichita State deep because they've got a chance at winning some serious points. Let's check out. I click Wichita State. Sorry if you can't see that because my face is in the way. This is the slicer for all the different teams that can be picked. I click Wichita State, and this then shows me. Nobody, nobody in the whole tournament of my 352 picks had Wichita State past round three. However, round three, somebody has them. And if I click on round three, I'm going to see who does have them. Mary McManus has got them. So <laughs> Mary's going to gain five points on everybody if they, if they win in round three. And she's entry number 143. And yep. There you go. She, she's got Wichita State in round three. Good for her. And that's apparently the last place she has them. She doesn't have them winning in the next round. So I'm going to take the filter off rounds now. And I'm going to take the filter off picks now and back up. And this is still our, our current points. Let's check the other side of the bracket and see what else we need to watch out for. Uh, I know we, other than, other than a baby who's eating, we could look at, we could look over here and see what else is weird? I know that Florida Gulf Coast is insane. Nobody should have that. I'd like to check that out, but we'll see. Kansas, Michigan was a four seed. Florida, three seed. Yeah, Florida Gulf Coast is huge. Check that out. And then Indiana. No, that's fine. Syracuse, I'm sure people had. Marquette. Yeah, I'm sure people had. Miami of Florida. Is it just, oh, yeah. So did anybody have... <laughs> Did anybody have Florida Gulf Coast? I doubt it, right? I mean, weren't they a play-in team, too? Florida Gulf Coast. Somebody had them in round two. Mary. Mary loves picking the upsets. But nobody had them pass round two, so they're not going to play into the tournament at all. That's one of the things you can see by browsing through these different teams. Um, we could do this by picking all the teams that are remaining and see, you know, you could, you could hold down control and you could say, well, Duke is remaining. Sorry, I'm hitting Duke. Now I'm holding. <laughs> now I'm holding down control. Florida Gulf Coast. Uh, Florida's in there. Georgetown's gone. Who else is still in this thing? I think.
think Kansas is still in there. Boy, why do I have Kansas State and Kansas State? That's scary. Ooh, ooh, I'll tell you why. And Kansas State here. This brings up an issue. I'm so glad I did this. I'm so glad I did this. Where there are states that do not, or that are not spelled exactly the same, what happened there is people took it upon their own to type in the state, uh, the team name in their bracket, and it doesn't match the master bracket, and scoring won't work right. Oh crap. So I need to figure that out and send out an email to everybody and show you because your scoring will not work right if you typed in team names. It will not work right because they won't match exactly. That's what happens. I hope I didn't do that on purpose to you. I think you did it to yourself. So we're going to have to check that out. But when you, when you highlight all these teams, you get to see who has these teams deep into different rounds. Like who has these teams deep into round six and five? Well, these people do. You know, this person, Shane Curtis, has got a real, and Mike and John, oh, they all have a real good chance of winning some points because they've got a lot of these teams that are still left deep into these rounds. So it's just another way of looking at things. I'm going to get on this team name issue because this is a problem, people. I need, you can't do this. You can't type over the names. Everyone thought they could do what they want to do with the bracket. Oh, I'll use 2012 bracket fix. Nope, you're going to screw yourself up, and your points aren't going to work, and I'm going to get blamed. So we need to have a discussion. But uh, that's the update for 325. Lyndon Russ, you're on my radar as being possibly a, a late entry that may have cheated. But everybody else is in pretty good shape. Matt Rash, I went to I went to high school. <laughs> Sorry about the baby screaming, but that's just the, the timeline I'm on right now. I went to school with a kid named Matt Rash. I wonder if it's the same guy. That's your update. 325. Ken Stock will keep doing these.